Welcome back to Golf Today. Let's take a look at the PGA Tour University Velocity Global Ranking. Top 10 players in the final Velocity Global Ranking will earn Corn Ferry Tour membership next season with number one through five being exempt members, six through 10 being conditional members. Then additionally, players six through 20 will be exempt members on PGA Tour Canada and PGA Tour Latino America as well, 11 through 20. These are fantastic young players and a college seniors. You see Oklahoma's redshirt senior Patrick Welch, and he's coming off a year where the California native won his second collegiate event. I mean, he's a baller, and let's just, just, just be honest. So let's dive in, shall we? Let's dive in a little bit more to his bio. You mentioned it. He's a uh, redshirt senior. He's from California. Yes. 37 collegiate events. He's played two career wins. Uh, tied 15th at this year's NCAA Championship. He shot 63 in round three, which uh, was a massive momentum turner for his team to get through to that match play portion. Uh, they ultimately did lose in the opening round. So let's have a chat, shall we, with the man himself as Patrick Welch joins us now. Patrick, really good to see you. We just saw it in the standings there. You're sat comfortably on those PGA Tour University rankings. Tell us, how focused are you to climb up that list as a way to gain immediate Corn Ferry Tour status when you graduate? You know, definitely, uh, you know, you can't really control like where you want to be, like as in thinking. But, you know, if you go out each week, each tournament, you know, just it's really hard not to think about the rankings and stuff. But, you know, just playing each week, each tournament, you know, best you can and not let anything get to, you You know, it'll fall where you fall. And, um, you know, it's hard not to think about. But I mean, in the back of my mind, it'll be there for the rest of the year for sure. So. Patrick, redshirt senior, you're, you're a player like many collegians who had to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic and making choices and decisions. How challenging was it for you in a time that was very challenging for the world? Um, you know, when the season ended, I guess 2020 it seems not too long ago, but when that ended, you know, we lost uh, basically the rest of the spring season for March and we didn't get to play uh, postseason tournaments, national championship and our team that year was really, really good. And, you know, it was a bummer that it ended that way. But, you know, the NCAA was um, fortunate. And we were all very fortunate to have the chance of getting an extra year back. And, you know, I was talking to my parents when that happened, when that was available. And, you know, they were all for it. And, you know, fast forward a couple of years later, I'm in my fifth year. And, you know, if I didn't take a fifth year, I mean, who knows what I'd be doing right now. So I'm very fortunate. Yeah, Patrick, no doubt it's been a journey for you at Oklahoma. It hasn't been plain sailing at all. You had a bit of a rough patch a couple of seasons ago, but you turned it around and you came out the other side. What did you learn about yourself in that time where you were struggling a little bit with your game? You know, when I was struggling, uh, I, was, I was pretty lost, not just with golf, but just who I was as a person and where I was. And it was just really tough to kind of get out of. But, you know, when you have teammates like I do and coaches that support you and they just love you and, you know, they're always going to be there for you. You know, it makes it a lot easier to kind of, you know, push through. I learned that I was, you know, it was pretty resilient to, you know, where I was like last year, a year and a half ago, you know, it was not fun for anyone, but just actually going through it, you know, with nothing really to do, you know, it was really tough, but, you know, eventually there was light at the end of the tunnel and, you know, I pushed through and I'm just taking it day by day by now. So, Patrick, I, w I read that part of the struggles had to do with you losing your father a couple of years ago, which is very difficult at any time of life, but especially for a young person like yourself. How much do you still hear his voice? And this is someone who put golf clubs in your hand for the first time when you were a kid. Yeah, no, I mean, I think about him every day, no matter what I'm doing, you know, before each tournament or the night before, I'm always thinking, you know, I'll dream about, you know, us hanging out or, you know, I'm on a golf course and, you know, kind of just, it's just an everyday thing. You know, I've, it's normal to me now. Uh, so I know he's always with me and, uh, it's tough when he's, he's not here. Obviously it's been a little over two years now, but I mean, it feels like he's been gone, you know, it's just, it's just tough to explain, honestly, you know, and, uh, you know, I just want to make him proud and try and play my best golf. Cause I know he really wanted me to do my fifth year. And so now that I'm doing it, you know, I just want to play for him as well. So, it's, yeah. 
It's an irreplaceable loss, Patrick. And as you said, the way that your team and your coach has rallied around you during your time at Oklahoma and the support has just been absolutely second to none. I saw when you broke through once again, finally last season in Vegas, Coach Hibble said that he's never wanted one of his students to win more than he wanted you to win. And he's never been so nervous because he, know, he knew how badly you wanted to get over the line. Just talk us through that week and what a moment that was for you breaking through into the winner's circle again. You know, so uh, that was our second tournament of the spring. And a couple weeks earlier, we played in Puerto Rico. And I was leading after the first round, and I knew there was a tour spot on the line. You know, I just didn't make enough birdies the last two days. So my uh, my teammate Chris got her up, ended up winning, which was I was super excited for for him. And to see him play really well in the tour event, you know, just made me a lot hungrier to, hungrier to win uh, the next tournament, which was in Vegas. Uh, because they had a tour spot open as well. And I really, really wanted to win that tournament. It's hard to win tournaments. You can play well and still not win, but I knew I had to you know, be on the top of my game for that week and uh, see it come to fruition and you know, uh, pull through really meant a lot to me. And I was just really excited. Patrick, let me some great athletes to go through Oklahoma, Sam Bradford, number one pick in the NFL draft, uh, Blake Griffin, incredible athlete who, who can dunk. You can dunk. Like I, on this video that we un, unveiled, uh, like I'm shocked. I was on Instagram, like just kind of cruising, and you're like wiping the soles of your shoes, like like you're Michael <laughs> I had, Jordan. I mean, I had, I had to get the grip uh, good so I can jump. I didn't want to break myself. I was. You know. do, do you still hoop? I mean, that's. I mean, I'm an old man. I can't dunk anymore. For a time, I could. How much are you like hooping? You know, a little intramural basketball, perhaps. Um, I, I can tell you the last time I playing basketball like at a gym uh my freshman year we I went a lot like during the off season but I don't know it's just kind of hard to find time now I mean maybe I'll go again uh after the fall season just for fun but you know I, I miss playing basketball it was probably one of the most fun times I've had uh playing sports and uh yeah no I mean I don't know if I can do that anymore but <laughs> very <laughs> modest can't. <laughs> well, you're a baller. You've got a golf going in the right direction for you, that is for sure. Um, enjoy your final year at Oklahoma. We're looking forward uh, to seeing you out there. So, yeah, enjoy the journey. I enjoy it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay, good stuff. Thanks, Patrick. Well, stay with us here on...